What's up guys, Moshe Kanaka with Krav Maga Fight Tips from Israel. Today I have a great Krav Maga workout for you guys if you want to get fit, if you want to improve your fighting ability, and if you want to have a great time. So what we're doing today, before we're going to go right into the workout, if you want, guys, we have really cool t-shirts. It says on it, Lochem. Lochem in Hebrew means warrior fighter. So if you guys want to uh, check out which t-shirts we have available, you could send me a WhatsApp uh, to my number under the video and I'll ship them to you. And uh, great t-shirts, we have dry fit, we have regular kind, whatever you guys uh, enjoy. We have uh, like IDF color, we have different cool colors. So also welcome to send me a WhatsApp and find out which what we have in stock. So now to the workout. So what we're doing basically, um, you guys need a boxing glove and a heavy bag. If you do not have the heavy bag and boxing gloves, you can do the same workout uh, with shadow boxing. That means in the air. Now what we're doing, I recommend to do a good warm up for before you do this workout or do the first round uh, not full force. Now the workout is built on four boxing combos. Okay, the, so it's going one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, which means one is a jab, a weak, with your weak hand, you're throwing a straight punch, two is jab cross, three is jab cross and a hook, four is jab cross, hook, and a cross. Now we're doing this each combo times 15. And then we're going to the next session of the next part of the workout, which is the same combos one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. But at the end of each combo, that means let's say I throw a jab, I throw an elbow. Okay? Uh, each combo we end with an elbow. Then the next part we do the same thing, we end each part with a knee. The next part we end each combo with a low kick. So stay with me guys, this is a really great workout. Like I said, it's going to get you guys in good shape and improve your striking ability to defend any attacker with God's will. So we're starting. Okay, let's go guys. You don't have to go full force. Okay, so first one, very simple. Jab. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's one. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's two. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's three. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's five. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's six. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's seven. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's eight. Wait, guys, I'm going to shut off the air conditioner. I just turned on. It's a little cold in here in the mountains of Judea. So I turned on some heat. Uh, now we don't need it anymore. <clears throat> so let's continue. If I'm going too fast for you guys, just do it in your pace. If it's too slow, just go faster. Okay? One, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nine. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ten. Five more guys. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Eleven. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Twelve. One. One, two. Two, three. And one, two, three, four, thirteen. One, one, two, two, three, one, two, three, four, fourteen. One more guy. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and fifteen. Next one is we're doing the same thing. This time we're adding an elbow after each combo. Okay, so let's continue, guys. If you want to take a sip of water, and we're going forward. Okay, let's go. Adding an elbow, make sure 
your hip with the bone and you're thrusting your hips into each and every strike to improve the impact. One, two, three, four. Okay. Three. Keep it up. One, two, three, four, and ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, and eleven. And twelve. Thirteen. Two more. Fourteen. guys maybe saw when you throw back uh, punches and then you want to throw an elbow you have to close the distance because an elbow is a weapon more for closer range closer range so if I'm here and I'm throwing a punch and I want to throw an elbow I have to close the distance so I can actually reach the attacker okay guys I hope you're enjoying until now if your shoulders are hurting a little, that's a good sign. That's how you build your endurance, your conditioning for boxing and for the striking and everything. Um, so don't stop, guys. Don't stop. Keep up. Keep it up. Now the next one, we're doing the same exact thing. Each time we're throwing a knee. Now a knee is extremely effective and powerful strike. Usually you could go for the solar plex, you go for the groin, or you, if you get him in a clinch hold his head down you could get him in the face now make sure you're not just picking your leg up you're trying to thrust your hips into the strike okay so we're doing the same exact numbers each time we're adding a knee at the end okay let's go we're all we're finished already half the workout so two more sets and we're done so make sure you don't give up okay And one. Two. Three. 
three. Four. And five. Try to leave your hands up. And six. Let's go, guys. Let's send them to ten left. And five more lifts. the last rep, which is same thing, same numbers, but we add a low kick after each strike. Make sure you're hitting with your shin bone each time, sorry about that, each time you throw a strike, make sure you step to the side with your leg, you want to feel that tension in your hips, and then you release the low kick. Now imagine a big tree. Uh, which you want to cut down, chop down. So you're not coming sideways like this, coming in a little bit from the top and down. From up, downwards, that's to have more impact. In real life, in training, you're aiming for the hips. In a real life situation, you're aiming for the knee. Make sure in training that you don't hit your training partner in the knee because it could create some damage. Maybe um, 15 years ago when I was training, by mistake, I hit my friend with a low kick in the knee, and like for two weeks, it was hard for him to, to walk. So make sure you do not do that in real life. Only if you want to uh, defend yourself in a real situation. Okay, let's go, guys. Last round, and we're done. Three and four. One, two, three, four. That's one. Doesn't have to be full force. Two. Six. 
Evet. you guys here they are okay so I hope you guys enjoyed it it's a good workout it's not super intense I have more intense workout on workouts on my channel this is a good one for beginners um, even even for advanced it can be a good workout you mix this in with a different workout you're doing you could use this as a warm-up to your maybe um, strength workout that you want to do or maybe you want first you go out to a run and then you do this it's a great workout it will really improve your striking make sure you do the strikes correct i really hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments down below how it was for you if it was too easy if it was too hard um, if it was too complicated let me know how it was for you and how do you feel after you did the workout so guys have an awesome week Make sure you train, make sure you be ready for any, any uh, bad guys that God forbid come your way. And you'll be able to take care of them. And uh, make sure to share the video and leave your comments down below. And have an awesome week. And we'll be in touch. See you guys in the next video. I'm Moshe Kanikov with Krav Maga Fighted from his... Bam, bam, bam.